Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. So today we're going to be talking about books about money and I have quite a few books here with me that I want to talk about. So four of them I have in like physical copies with me and I have read some of the books on my Kindle so I'm going to talk about all of them and there are a total of 10 books as you can tell from the title. Also I do want to mention that some of these books are quite practical books which you can apply in your daily life and some of these are about mindset shifts about money. I specifically love studying about money because it's just such an intricate topic and it's just so complex and everybody has feelings about money and we have all these like childhood limiting beliefs that also play a huge role um also these books are not like all five star reads for me there are ju they're just different books i have read about money and my reviews and thoughts about them but i hope you find this video useful and i hope it helps you decide which book you want to pick regarding money um and with that, let's just get started. Now, the very first book I'm going to talk about is one of the very first books I read, and that is Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. I gave this book three stars out of five on Goodreads. This book is written by Robert, of course, and he writes about these two different dads he has. I kind of forgot if both of the dads like which one was his actual real dad but there was a poor dad and a rich dad and he talks about their different mindsets and how they think and how that actually led them to being rich or poor i really did like the different um illustrations he had in here if you can see i have annotated quite a bit of it and i I had like quite a bit of diagrams in here as well if you can tell which talks about assets and liabilities i did find it quite useful i gave it three stars on goodreads um just because i feel like um some of it was just quite not really all that relatable to me but i did really enjoy it i read this back in 2016 so it's been about four years or 2017 i guess yeah 2017 so been three years since i read it or four yeah four years and wow it's 2021 but yeah it's been a while and i definitely need to reread it and i want gav to read it as well so i'm going to give this to him actually like i had already given this to him but i had to take it back for the video and i need to give this back to him so that he can read it the next book i read was on my kindle and that is the barefoot investor by scott babe i keep forgetting his name but i gave that book four stars um i did like that book a lot but honestly I read this book six years ago so it's been a really long time that I read it and I do want to read it again just because I think it was like five years ago not six but um yeah I've just forgotten a lot of things in there but I do remember him talking about basic things like how to divide your income and use it um you know, like a certain amount for a backup account i just remember this one thing that he talked about where he said that you should have like an account in a different bank that you do not access at all and that you do not have any access to and you should keep like an amount of money in there and just like forget about it yeah i really did find that book quite useful but the only issue i had with that book was that a lot of it was set according to australia so just not very um relatable here in india so yeah that was the only issue i had with it the next book i read was this book the total money makeover by dave ramsey i read this back in 2017 again and this is basically about getting rid of your debt and i do not have a debt um and i did not have a student loan but i still found it quite inspiring to read about different people and their stories about debt and how they got through it he also has this like snowball method where you take the smallest debt and you tackle it first and then you keep going till the biggest debt and you get rid of everything he also talks about um not really enjoying a lot now so that you can enjoy in the future now everything was fine in here but the only issue i had with this book was that a lot of it was set in the american economy so it just like i really get annoyed by such books just because i cannot really apply it to uh, my life because i live in india and i feel like i need to pick up some authors from india in order to um, get an idea about that but it was still like quite an inspiring read i did give it three stars out of five um just because of that the next book i have read quite recently actually and that is the psychology of money by morgan Housel. and this book is mostly about the psychology that is the money mindset as you can make out from the title 
and in here he gives quite a few lessons um, that he has learned about money Morgan um, I think there are a total of like 20 if I'm not wrong yes there are 20 chapters with 20 different lessons that he has learned about money and again I did like the way he tackled the subject I gave this book three stars out of five the only reason I did not give it like the two stars is because of the whole stocks and investment advice in there which I just do not really like a lot but I feel like I do ne need to get into it later on but um, for now I just took what I felt like taking from the book and most of the advice I really loved in here I just wanted to read a few things in here because I feel like I would better express it by reading what I have annotated in here so um, there are a few things he talks about like having less ego and more wealth um, and he talks about saving money being the gap between your ego and your income like that is so profound wow and he also talks about like managing your money in a way that helps you sleep at night and he also talks about just saving for no reason which I really need to get good at and he also talks about many other like different lessons I just I really enjoyed his advice even though the stocks advice wasn't really something I was into but I still feel like this is a really good read I have annotated quite a bit of it again and yeah I really did enjoy this one as well the next book I read on my Kindle, and I'll put the title here, that is How to Worry Less About Money by John Armstrong. This is actually a book from the School of Life series. And in this book, um, again, it's not a practical book. It's more about the philosophical aspect of money. And he talks about money being like a construct and how it's not really real. And it's all about the income that we have like the work that we do and what we get out of it that is the things we buy the goods we buy the experience and that money is just this like commodity in the middle or like just um it's not really a thing you know um it's more just a way to get from here to here and you need to think of what you want to do and what you want to get and stop being so fixated over money he also talks about how you should be okay with not having money and just understand that you need to like let go of your money worries basically he differentiates between money troubles and money worries so he talks about money troubles being real troubles like maybe you have bills that you need to deal with and that is like something real that you do need to deal with and then he talks about worries being basically things that you make up in your mind like oh my god what if I just like go broke tomorrow or what if I lose my job and all these like thoughts that you have that are just constant worries and he talks about differentiating between those two and the book is about how to worry less not to get rid of your money troubles but how you can stop worrying and creating all these scenarios in your head that just are not going to happen um, and I really did find it quite interesting um, I gave it three stars again just because I feel like some of the things just weren't all that great but um, I might honestly reread it and see how I think about it or how I feel about it then because I feel like I was reading money books back to back because I picked that up right after this book and I feel like I got a little tired because of that but yeah still would definitely recommend it the next book I have is you're a badass at making money by Jen Sincero now this book I read so so long ago I read it like back in 2015 which has been six years ago and I just don't like remember a lot of it as such but all I know is that this book, it introduced me to the law of attraction in a way when it came to money and it does talk a lot about mindset again. It's about how to believe in yourself and how to know that you can make things happen. I gave this book four stars and I honestly don't know if I would give it that higher rating if I reread it because three stars is to me is when I like a book and four stars is when I absolutely like love it and then five is when it's like my absolute favorite and I feel like I might reread it at some point and see but I did really enjoy the book because it was one of my first books about money mindset and if you do want to change your mindset and your limiting beliefs about money I would definitely recommend this as a starting point the next book I have a physical copy of again is money and the law of attraction by Esther and Jerry Hicks and it's actually based on the teaching of Abraham and I'm not like very familiar with the whole thing but I actually read this book on my Kindle and then I went ahead and purchased it because I loved it so much and I wanted to go through and annotate the whole book again and reread some of the parts so I did absolutely love this one I gave it five out of five stars as my rating and 
The reason I love this is because it is about the law of attraction and I do believe in the law of attraction just because I feel like um, law of attraction has a lot to do with what you believe in and then what you do because of your beliefs so i feel like your actions definitely play a huge role when it comes to the law of attraction and just that confidence and that self-esteem boost you get because you believe in yourself just plays an important role in everything you do and that is why i just love this book because um all the advice in it was really really good and it did cover a lot of different topics it even covered health well-being um money obviously and just a lot of different things i just i can't like exactly um pinpoint one exact thing i just love the entire book and that is why i gave it five stars if you are new to the law of attraction and if you want to read about it especially relating to money would highly recommend this one the next book this i feel like i have mentioned so many times on my channel and that is ban money secrets by richard dodds and this is a book that i have read thrice by now it is one of my favorites um like you may guess and i have given it five stars so again this is another book that talks about the law of attraction it's quite a quick read i feel like it's around 200 pages and um in this richard dots again talks about how he got through like a really bad point in his life to like a good in his life now and he just talks about again the law of attraction and how it helped and how it was not working for him first and just detailed chapters of how he made it work for himself and he also did talk about how um, sometimes you just need to focus on other things and not focus so much on you know like the money aspect of life and how reading books that are actually not about money can be more helpful to you when it comes to money just because you don't always need to focus on the topic well you can take that advice and not read all of these books and read something else but yeah i just felt like that was such good advice in there i really really enjoyed that and coming from that there's another book that i did read by richard dodds and that is dollars flow to me easily by richard dodds again and i gave this five stars as well just because i felt like this was more of an extension to ban money secrets and both of them were quite similar um, a lot of it did overlap because he did write from his own experience and so there were a few repetitions but still i loved it i love the way richard dodds writes really it's quite simple and easy to understand and yeah i just really enjoyed both of the books um and i give them both five stars and the last book that i have that i have read two times and that is the secrets of the millionaire mind by tj harver it is tj harv ecker sorry um and that book um i read the first time on my kindle and the second book second time on audiobook and i did like it but the first time i gave it four stars and the second time i gave it three stars just because i feel like um the only issue i had with it was that the author was like kind of arrogant a lot of the times and just boasting about how he just made or got successful and that was kind of annoying but i did like the advice in it so if you like take it with a grain of salt i feel like you can find quite a few good um advice in there he talks about the way millionaire minds work and their habits and how you can basically learn to cultivate those habits as well i feel like there were quite a few good useful tips in there i kind of remember one of them being that your focus should be like on making money and not on spending money which i need to again <laughs> like sometimes we just tend to think about oh what can i get rather than what can i put out there and what can i do which i mean obviously you can get things and that's cool i feel like we all deserve to um, get things for the hard work that we put out there but you also need to think of what value you can provide though i feel like obviously sometimes you just need to just be and not focus so much on being productive or making money out of every little thing you do so that's something i try to tell myself as well but yeah just a few things i've learned from all of the books i've read i feel like there are so many more money books on my tbr and i will be reading more but do let me know if you enjoy this video so maybe i'll like make a part two after i read some more books um and i hope you are um reading some wonderful books yourself hope you're having a good reading month and yeah like it's been quite a cozy weather and i've just been enjoying reading whenever i do have the free time but yeah that'll be it i'll stop blabbering here and i hope you enjoyed the video um i'll see you soon with a new video hopefully with some more fun videos um 
I have quite a few things planned, but it's just gonna take a while to get them all together, but yeah. Also, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to stay up to date with my new videos. And yeah, that's all. I'll see you soon. Bye!